Now, we've all been on the receiving end of a bad bout of hiccups, the kind you just can't banish no matter how many frights you get. Sometimes they can actually be pretty violent too, so this new invention could be the hero the hiccuping human race needs. You're at your wit's end. You've cycled through the urban myths, but nothing quite seems to kick the hiccups. That is, until now. A group of scientists has invented a new device in the form of an L-shaped straw. Called Hickaway, it promises to do just that. Successful in shutting down 92% of hiccup cases in the test group, could it be the answer we've all been waiting for? And to help demystify hiccups is nano girl Michelle Dickinson. Great to see you, Michelle. Tell us about this new device. Is it worth forking out for? So I'm a big supporter of commercialization of scientific research, so yes. Um, but it, they're hard to get hold of in New Zealand. They are 14 US dollars and you will have to ship them from overseas. So if you can't get your own, we can use the science to figure out how to make our own instead. Well, that was going to be the next question. So how do we make our own at home if we don't want to fork out that much to buy one? So you'll need a straw and you're going to, well, there's two ways you can do it. So the device was made based on how people suck milkshakes. So when you're trying to suck something very thick out of um, a straw, you put a lot of pressure in there. So if you have a milkshake, suck it. But I'm going to show you my little trick for getting rid of the hiccups. And you're going to need a straw, a glass of water, and you're going to need to know where your tragus is. And your tragus, if you don't know, is this little flap that you have around your ear here. So you should have two flaps at the front of your ear called the tragus. You're going to put your straw into your glass of water and then you're going to put your fingers over your tragus so you're blocking your ear and then you're going to suck the water and try and suck all of the water up like this. And that should get rid of your hiccups. Do we keep like the whole glass? <laughs> You don't have to if you don't have it, but yes, if you do have the hiccups, oh, you do. What you're trying to do is try to activate, activate two nerves to disrupt this system. So one of them is called your vagus nerve, and that's going to control your epiglottis, that little flap at the back of your throat that helps you to swallow. And the other one is called your phrenic nerve, which is the one that controls your diaphragm. Those are the two that actually create the hiccups when they're in sync. So when you disrupt that sync between them by drinking, changing your epiglottis and your diaphragm by sucking and creating pressure by blocking your ears, that is the best trick, apparently, using science and what this story is based on to get rid of the hiccups. And Michelle, it's important to take note uh, when you're hiccuping too, isn't it, that sometimes uh, it's actually a sign of something more serious. Yeah, so we think hiccups are really funny, and they are, but if you're hiccuping a lot, or a lot over a period of time, please check it out with your doctor, because it actually can be the sign of many different things, including the onset of things like esophagus or gut cancer. So hiccups are funny if you're getting them every so often, but if they are more common, just get it checked out. Well, thank you so much for your time tonight, Michelle. I mean, this is sensational. This is going to change a lot of people's lives. It is. See you later. You heard it first here on 7 Sharp. That is remarkable. It is. I think that the whole, yeah, I reckon you go with a thick shake rather than the water. I, unnecessary. We already saw that. You know, but...